All right, Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade here. It is that time of the afternoon on Texas Live and Local Time for us to track the tropics. And we actually have a little bit more going on than we have had in recent weeks. We have a new tropical storm in the Atlantic, and we could potentially have another tropical storm forming in the Eastern Pacific. We've already had five named storms there, so it certainly has been busy. But let's start off with the Atlantic Basin, of course, which consists of the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf. Atlantic Basin average first name storm forms around June 20th. So yesterday I was saying, hey, we're a few days behind on our first name storm of the season, but then we got it today. So just a few days behind, but we now have our first name storm, which is Andrea. Also, eight out of the last 30 years, first storm did not form until July or August, but that's not going to be the case this year because as of today, we have that first name storm. And the last time the first name storm formed in July was 2014. So we're not going to be setting a new record this year because we now have that first name storm in the Atlantic Basin. It's actually right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean between the Bermuda and the Azores and the name is Tropical Storm Andrea. So this is the first tropical storm of the season in the Atlantic. You can see it looking kind of raggedy, kind of weak there in the Central Atlantic. It is not going to impact land. It's going to stay far away from the U.S. In fact, it is racing away from Bermuda and away from the U.S off to the northeast. Notice that it does have winds around 40 miles per hour as of the 4 p.m. advisory and by tomorrow morning it's actually going to be post tropical lose those tropical characteristics. It's going to weaken fall apart and it's not going to be much of anything. It's actually moving into much cooler waters over the next 24 hours and it's going to run into some strong wind in the upper levels of the atmosphere what we call strong wind shear. So Andrea will of course say goodbye to us very soon. So short lived tropical storm, but it is still going down in the history books as our first official named storm of the Atlantic Basin season. I really don't think we're going to get anything else for the month of June. So we look ahead to July. We could potentially start to get more activity developing in the tropics. So we could have Barry, Chantal, Dexter, or Aaron. And of course, we'll go all the way through this list as these storms develop throughout the season. Remember, the peak of hurricane season doesn't come until September 10th. So this is really just the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. We're still expecting an above average season with 17 named storms, nine of those becoming hurricanes, four major hurricanes according to the CSU forecast. Last year we had 18 named storms, 11 hurricanes and five major hurricanes and the average right around 14 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes. So that is the Atlantic hurricane season. Eastern Pacific hurricane season started back on May 15th and it has been super busy. We've had five named storms so far including category four Hurricane Eric last week, and we have yet another tropical system that may develop late week, and the name would be Flossie. So Flossie will try to floss towards the end of the week, and it is gonna be very close to Acapulco, Southern Mexico once again. Just some disorganized showers and storms near Guatemala City at this point, but by Friday, Saturday, models are indicating that this disorganized thunderstorm activity could get a little bit more organized. And there's actually now a high 70% chance for development for another tropical system in the eastern Pacific through the next week or so. So we could have a tropical depression likely by this weekend, and that could start to push up towards southern Mexico early next week, maybe strengthening to tropical storm Flossie. So you can see here on our Fox weather model, you can see the counterclockwise swirl there, the area of low pressure starting to move west northwest closer to Acapulco by Thursday, Friday and Saturday, bringing a lot of heavy rain, whether it develops or not more rounds of rain likely for southern Mexico and a few of those downpours may impact parts of the Yucatan Peninsula and so that could impact some cruise spots like Cozumel and Cancun. We are expecting rain and storm chances to go up to 70% for Friday. That's going to be some of that tropical moisture riding over that way. But if your cruise stops here this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, rain chances a lot lower, 20% and temps.
be a similar story for you in Cancun if you're going on a vacation here, maybe on a plane, landing, getting out, enjoying some pool and beach time, maybe it's a cruise stop. Look for a better chance for showers and storms Thursday and Friday, a 60 to 70% chance in those temps through the weekend in the middle to upper 80s. All right, let's check out our next popular vacation cruise stop, and that is Cabo. And I'd say this is the pick weather of the week for all of these stops. Beautiful, bright sunshine expected, no rain issues, temperatures near 80 the next few days, low to middle 80s this weekend. You really can't ask for much more than that. So close to perfect weather in Cabo. If you're lucky enough to be going there for a vacation, enjoy the beach, enjoy the pool, enjoy the sights. The weather will not be an issue at all. All right, over towards Nassau, Bahamas, another popular cruise stop and things are looking pretty good here as well. Rain chances will be kept limited 10 to 20 percent. And yes, it's going to be steamy temps near 90, plenty of humidity, but that's what you expect this time of the year. At least you don't have to worry about any tropical storms or hurricanes for your Bahamas vacation plans this weekend. All right, finally, let's check out Kingston, Jamaica. We're looking good here, at least for Friday. Mostly dry, partly cloudy tips near 90. Now, there will be a better chance for downpours and some thunder, lightning for Saturday and Sunday. Best shot will be Sunday, so maybe not the brightest of days all weekend long, but there will be some dry time mixed in. So hopefully you can still get your beach and pool time in here if your cruise is stopping here, looking pretty good. So overall, other than Tropical Storm Andrea, we're looking good across the Atlantic Basin. That is not going to impact any of these cruise stops. So enjoy yourselves if you're on vacation for this weekend. Have a great time. Stay safe out there. And of course, keep checking back here daily on Texas Live and Local for your latest cruise, vacation, and tropical update. We'll keep you posted if anything interesting or troublesome is heading our way.